Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday and it's 8.29. The event starts at 8.30. I am the keynote speaker for an event that was put together last minute as an expo for the city through economic development. So we're just hoping that some people will come. Unfortunately, one minute. And here's our audience. Now, the client told me, look, we don't know who's going to come or if anyone will. We didn't have very many registered and we're just hoping for a lot of walk-ups. This is their first event like this. So I said to her, right now, I don't have to be at my other event until later tonight. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm happy to wait as long as you need me to. I can be here until noon or one. I still have to drive 300 miles to my next event for tonight, but let's see if people show up. I'd rather have this be good for the few people that do come. So we'll see what happens, but I'm sad for the client. This is a bummer for me to perform for a room full of chairs and the trade show people who will be the only ones to enjoy it. But that's okay, I'll still give 100% as if the whole room is full. That's the promise, but I just feel sad for the client because they put so much work into this and brought me all the way out here. And so I just hope that a few people come. My promise is to be easy to work with and agreeable. I'm supposed to go on at 8.30, it's now 8.31. So I said, if you want me to go on at nine, 9 30 10 if you want me to wait till noon whenever people get here let's do it if you can move the other stuff around that you have planned and she said we can't do the other stuff as planned unless people come so i said okay let's just wait so that's the promise here we are i hope it works out